I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. It's about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Join movement expert Aaron Alexander as he dives into the minds of the foremost innovative healthcare thinkers and movement masters on their approach to optimal health and wellness. Online Podcast. Welcome back to the Line Podcast. My name is Aaron Alexander. We are going to review uh, a book that I just finished up and quite enjoyed called uh, The Way of the Superior Man by David Data. Pretty darn contentious book. A Man's Guide to Mastering the Challenges of Women, Work, and Sexual Desire. This was written in 1997. Really surprised. I'm just recently hearing about David in the last like year or so. I didn't realize he's been around for so long. Um, thank you guys so much for doing all the good deeds in the podcast world, leaving reviews. Um, we have the, the Align Band up for sale on Amazon slash the website, AlignTherapy.com. If you guys want to get your self-care game going, jump on that thing. Um, and also, you can start the five-day movement challenge also at AlignTherapy.com. All right, here we go. A few highlights that I gathered out of this book. If you enjoy these highlights, this is contentious stuff, by the way. I don't agree or disagree with any of this. This is just ideas that I found interesting. Uh, but I recommend giving a read to this, this book. Wait, the spear man. All right. First point of the podcast. Uh, the feminine is abundant. Chapter 39. There is never a shortage of women or feminine energy. If a man feels that there aren't enough women or that life isn't giving him what he wants, he is simply negating his relationship to the feminine. This sense of starvation, life is not sustaining me, or there are no good women, is usually rooted in a man's early childhood relationship with his mother. Life itself is the feminine. There is never a shortage of feminine energy, only a resistance to receiving, trusting, and embracing it. I like that a lot. Life itself is the feminine. There is never a shortage of feminine energy, only a resistance to receiving, trusting, and embracing it. I think it's a really cool idea that our relationship with life and the world around us, that is our relationship with women. And if we feel like we're starving or feel like there's not enough feminine energy, there's no good women in the world, um, that might be have something to do with the filter that we perceive the world through. All right. Next point. This one is uh, super contentious. Oh, man. Probably going to be backlash on this one. All right. The essential... uh, Chapter 35. You're always searching for freedom. The essential masculine ecstasy is in the moment of release from constraint. This could occur when facing death and living through it, succeeding in, and thus being released from, your purpose and in competition, which is a ritual threat of death. This masculine is always seeking release from constraint into freedom. Oh, I said this. The masculine is always seeking release from constraint into freedom. The feminine often doesn't understand these masculine ways and needs. That's the contentious part. Masculine is always seeking release from constraint into freedom. And the feminine often times doesn't understand that. (laughs) There's some some women probably with their panties in a bundle right now about that sentence. But we're going to get back into why that kind of sort of makes sense. And also, as he's talking about this, um, I think what he's referring to with masculine or feminine is more just that archetype or that that personality. And men or women, they can kind of share share different parts of each. Uh, next little, little part I thought was interesting. Most sports are ritualized war, but actual war itself resonates with the core of most men. Oh, man. So sports are ritualized war. We have this this need for it for some reason. Uh, next part. Ego death. Absolute surrender to the point of oneness is the ultimate freedom. Few men ever release themselves enough to relax in this depth of freedom because they're afraid of absolutely no stress. That's good. No stress means no thoughts, no sense of protected self, no mission to accomplish. The end of the masculine game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Next highlight part. That part makes a lot of sense to me, by the way, and probably a lot of other people. We kind of put these obstacles in our way because if the obstacle's not there, if there's not some mission to succeed with or to, to, to fight with, fight the ritualized war, then uh, we have idle hands and we start kind of wigging out. 
So we, we sometimes we put obstacles in our way as a means of staying occupied. But what happens when that, ox, uh, that obstacle goes away? We freak out. Uh, what's behind that layer? That's an interesting part. Sorry, I don't mean to get all like Eckhart Tolle on you. Uh, next highlighted pit part. The feminine, on the other hand, this is the part that resolves the contentiousness maybe, is not seeking freedom, but love. A woman's bliss is not in emptiness, but in fullness. Her means is not release, but surrender. This is why a woman is upset when a man begins snoring after orgasm. He has finally achieved in post ejaculative emptiness the blissful freedom from, uh, from stress he has been seeking all day. One way or another, she, however, is hoping to experience love and fullness through sex, and a snoring man just doesn't do it for her. The feminine seeks fullness and abhors emptiness. She will fill her empty shells with knickknacks, seashells, and pebbles collected from special places. When she does not feel full of love, she seeks to fill herself with ice cream, chocolate, or conversation rather than emptiness her stress or rather than empty her stress or TV or ejaculation as men often do it's pretty cool um, yeah I think you guys get that you guys probably understand that uh, as well as well as I do uh, let's go to the next little part here next highlighted highlighted highlight you are not this is one of my favorites. You are that which you seek, but you have left your own deepness and are looking elsewhere. The stress of not finding it creates its own need to be released, and so the cycle continues. You are chasing your own tail, and much of the time that tail looks suspiciously like a woman. Woo! You are that which you seek, but you have left your own deepness and are looking elsewhere. The stress of not finding it creates its own need to be released. And so the cycle continues. You are chasing your own tail. And much of the time, that tail looks suspiciously like a woman. And that relates back to uh, you know, this whole feminine being the world itself. And you think you're trying to find a, a lady, or, or a man in this case, I think. Um, but in fact... You are that what you see. That's pretty tight. Uh, I underlined this as well. I don't even know what it's going to say. Hopefully it's, it relates to this somehow. In a moment of attraction, let your desire feel to her. Oh, this is good. But don't stop there. Feel through her. Do this constantly. Feel through her body when you're having sex with her. Feel through her anger when she's raging at you. Feel through her darkness when she seems ugly. Feel through her beauty when she's when she most attracts you. By feeling through all of her forms, the superior man is not distracted or obsessed. Rather, his attention feels through the mirage of other, and he is released of need in the revelation of oneness. I think that's good. Um, I think that's enough for for one day. I got actually. Get out of here. I'm flying to New York City tomorrow for this book publishing stuff. So uh, I'm going to wrap this thing up. But last point, I think, is this is pretty cool. Feeling through whatever the whatever the mirage, whatever the, the superficial layer that we're kind of dancing in momentarily, uh, we always have the opportunity to feel through that. And then on the other side of that, it's all one love, Bob Marley stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, this podcast episode was brought to us from our friends at BioOptimizers. They make one of, if not the best, uh, probiotic slash enzyme supplement that I've come across. And uh, they've got everything you could possibly want in there. I'm holding the bottle now. Uh, we could read off the enzymes, but you guys don't need to hear that. Um, it's good stuff. If you don't dig it, uh, you can just send the bottle back and they'll give you full refund. And uh, that's, that's the way it goes. So... I am pretty sure the Align code is functioning for these guys, um, and you can so you can use Align. You'll get, I believe, it's a ten percent discount uh, for the least. You can jump onto the podcast page of this episode and get yourself a discount off of there. There'll be a little banner for these guys. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you are having a tremendous week, and uh, yeah, we'll see you very very soon. Pow. Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning into this highlights episode. If you guys want to support this podcast, you can do it a few ways. You can grab yourself an Align Band off of the website, aligntherapy.com slash gear. Uh, it's also on, on Amazon. It is a heavy duty resistance band with a door anchor. It comes in a little traveling case and comes along with a video guide on how to floss out those joints and support that physical body of yours. Uh, really good stuff. Hope you enjoy it. 
thank you so much for using the Amazon affiliate link. If you buy crap on Amazon, jump onto the podcast page, linethaver.com slash podcast. Bookmark that link. Anytime you buy crap, we get a percentage of that purchase. It costs you nothing. Easy, free way to support this podcast. That is pretty much it. Thank you for tuning in. Greatly appreciate you sharing. Uh, hope you're digging it. We are always open to receiving comments on the social. Uh, pretty active on the Instagram at Align Podcast or at Align Band. And uh, yeah, thanks for reviews on iTunes. If we read your review, we will send you out a box of something delicious from one of our sponsors. All right. That's what we got. Hope you have a beautiful week and we will see you very soon. Bye.